tutorial, we're going to walk through how to use the Super Builder, this new builder option from Super, to create your website in Notion. To get started, you'll need to have a Notion account and a Super account. Once you have both of those, be sure that you go ahead and click Duplicate the Builder. This will bring up the Super Builder, and then you're going to want to come up to the corner and hit duplicate and then select the appropriate notion workspace you'd like to duplicate it into keep in mind this might take a few minutes as it's copying all of this information over so just leave both of your tabs open while that copies once it's duplicated into your own space you will uh, see the version here we're here on the main screen and we're going to click on builder from here, you'll see there's an example page and then a component library. Now I've expanded the hero and a couple of sections, but if we collapse it all down, we can see that all the components are separated here, or you can see them all in this section as well, which is a little bit easier view. Take some time to scroll through all these components and decide how you would like to lay out your website. Once you have the layout in mind, we're ready to move on to the actual building step. We'll come back to the builder and come over here to the right hand column. You'll see that you can create a new page here. This is how we'll get started. When you're ready, just go ahead and click create new page. Now you'll see that this comes in as page call out block. We're going to want to add in all of the components that we would like. Keep in mind that you don't want to drag and drop. You need to duplicate these components. Otherwise, you won't have this component library accessible any longer. So take some time to walk through and create your page over here on the side. Once you have all of your components duplicated over, you're going to need to do a few things. First, let's give this a true page name here. After our page name, we're going to want to select all of these and turn them to text. So with all of these highlighted, we're going to turn into text. Now you can see that this creates how our website will actually look once we've launched it. So if you're not happy with how it looks, you can always hit Command Z and come back and rearrange some of the different components. So if we didn't like how that looked or we didn't want something additional there, maybe we felt like this pricing wasn't great, we could do that and then select again, turn them all back into text, and now we can scroll through. Yeah, that looks better. Great. Now we're ready to actually make this into a web page. Before we move on to that step, let's, let's be sure that we're deleting out the headers for each one of these so that we don't have that information in there. So take a couple minutes and go through to delete those out. Once our headers are out, go ahead and also delete this block. So now we really have everything. You can delete any extra blocks that might be there so that the only thing that remains in this section is our web page. We can either edit the content in here or you can turn it into a page. So highlight and hit turn into page. Then you can drag this over out into its own workspace and then continue to edit. Now that we've pulled this site out into its own workspace, now we can actually edit and it replace all of this content with our own website's content. So you'd want to go through and be sure that any of the forms, links, or features, pricing, all of that is replaced with your content for your website. Once you have everything done, you're ready to move on to connecting it with Super. To connect with Super, the first thing we need to do is to share our site. We're going to turn this on and publish to the web. Be sure that you turn off duplication. We are going to need this address in order to connect with our Super site. Once you've created your Super account, you're just gonna click New Site give it a name and then put your page URL in here and hit continue. Once you've entered in your Notion address, you can see that now we have the site available in Super.
Keep in mind that the content is only visible here and any changes to the content need to be made in Notion itself, but let's walk through what we can do here in Super now that we have it built. First, under details, we can give our site whatever name we would like, and if at any point your Notion URL changes, you can go ahead and do that here as well. You can connect a custom domain. You can create more pages. You can add a new page here if you have the synced URLs on. It will update in Notion as well. So you can add pages, but adding content uh, is done on the Notion side. You also have options to set languages, favicons, SEO, and all kinds of page properties. From there, if you're adding in any kind of custom code to further set up this website, you would put that here. And finally, you can walk through the theme, add a nav bar, and adjust your font. So that is how you use the Super Builder to create your Notion site in Super.